Dragon's Wing good sell. I, I guess I'll do the video anyway. The news has been reporting uh, for a while about Yellowstone and earthquakes. The uh, USGS's official position is ain't no thing, no big deal, normal, nothing to see here, no explosions expected for thousands and thousands of years. First of all, they do not know when volcanoes will erupt. They do, and they let us know when they are doing it. That's how we know when a volcano will erupt. It erupts. They have not narrowed it down as to how to pinpoint when a volcano will erupt. Now, if you've seen Dante's Peak, not volcano, uh, which I still enjoyed, but unrealistic. Uh, Dante's Peak is more realistic. Uh, you'll notice that there were signs. The dead trees, dead squirrels, the sulfured water that gave advance notification of a blast that was coming. And, uh, uh, and so those things, yeah, they can watch for uh, and they're not informing the populace of this on the USGS as they should because they don't know when they're going to blow. But the news has been reporting uh, yesterday was over 141. I know, but why not just do 140? If it's 142, just say 142. Why say over 141? I, I don't get it. <coughs> And uh, apparently that's still normal. However, July was reported as having the most amount of earthquakes at Yellowstone. Okay, wait a minute, that's not normal. A record number is by definition not normal. <laughs> and then uh, the news article talked about how uh, yesterday's numbers did not happen, which then suggests that 141 is not also normal. Hadn't happened that much since December of 2020. And that also has me concerned because we're breaking records right close to each other with earthquakes. As the USGS is saying, oh, nothing to worry about, no problems, everything's fine, nothing to see, move along, keep, keep paying your taxes, <laughs> keep going to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and paying your tithing. <laughs> so, with this, again, I am giving you... Uh, instruction, which nobody's going to care about, nobody's going to follow, because the blast radius uh, is said by the USGS uh, to be uh, about uh, 240 miles, and uh, technically they were saying cubic miles, but uh, it's not going to happen in a square. just finished a vlog that will not be uploaded. One of the sealed portions of my videos. Uh, it's just going over what I'm doing here. Alright. And, uh, and so that range reaches, despite the USGS saying it won't, it reaches the whole Salt Lake Valley down to BYU, the Provo area. And so I checked the speed of the blast, the pyroclastic cloud, is 50 miles an hour, 
Again, we don't use meters and kilometers. We're America, where we use the outdated obsolete metrics, or the non-metric system. Inches and feet and miles. And, uh, and so uh, that's how we know it. If I were to say kilometers, people go, huh? <laughs> how far is that? And you'd have to Google search the conversion. How many miles in a thousand kilometers? And so, uh, yeah, the, the pyroclastic cloud is deadly. Case in point, there's one in Dante's Peak. Uh, the ash blast will obviously follow, though this kind of blast may create its own wind uh, uh, direction. However, well, depends on how strong the winds are that day. And, um, I can't think of the, uh, the river of wind. That's what we'll call it. That's what it is. So I have said it. So let it be written. So let it be done. <laughs> and the wind current. There it is. Uh, so uh, depending on where the wind current is, will cover uh, a massive. Uh, it'll probably go into the Atlantic with the ash. And uh, if not over across the world, and and create the summer without a summer, if you remember that from your El uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Jesus is mad with nicknames, history about uh, Joseph Smith trying to plant uh, ginseng. I don't think it was ginkgo, but and uh, the summer without a summer caused the third failure, and thus. They were banished from Vermont because they were poor. Uh, I covered that all in my book. You have a book? Yes, it needs to be updated with all the video information I've been providing with you since then. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so, uh, if you remember, I warned you that when an Exodus trigger event happens, and I told you I didn't know how, didn't know in what manner and what would cause it, but that when and if something did, and so I'm doing it again here. Obviously, everybody's going to need to flee south first, and wouldn't you know it, the I-70 is out of reach of the pyroclastic blast. So again, I warn, because it's 50 miles an hour, so obviously the further away, the more time you have. So the outskirts of the blast, you know, down at BYU's Provo, you'll have four hours, less than four hours, to uh, get whatever you can and go. And like I said, Green River turn off at the I-70. Meet there. You can find out who made it, see what supplies are needed, and then head east. Because assuming the wind current goes at its normal thing, and typically it blows up into the northern area, depending. And so it, it's Southern Illinois is going to be perfect this time of year. <laughs> uh, it, it is actually a, a really good piece of land because uh, with the Arctic melting, ocean levels rising, America and the Gulf Coast will flood and what you'll have is uh, uh, beachfront property 
in southern Illinois. If such a catastrophe uh, were to occur, and we're already being told because of climate change it's going to happen. So, uh, so again, uh, if you're in at Rick's, uh, you're going to have to flee immediately. You're going to have less opportunity to get things and go. You're just going to have to go. And you're going to have to go faster than 50 miles an hour if you're going to outrun it. <coughs> and uh, as a super volcano, let's hope and pray that it is around 50 miles an hour. But uh, again, just coincidental confirmation may never happen. You know, Salt Lake City is supposed to be Zion. It's not supposed to be destroyed by a volcano. That's not in scripture. <laughs> Actually, it might. Uh, the, uh, the scriptures that talk about uh, fire raining down from heaven, yeah, that, that could be uh, uh, stars falling, but wait, what do you know? Stars are falling tonight and into tomorrow. The Perseid meteor showers, a hundred per hour. Wouldn't you know it? Right at around the same time period, if such is the case. And so, uh, yeah, we're, like I said, Scripture's being fulfilled, guys. Signs in the heavens are being fulfilled. Are you really wanting to bet against God? And I know you disagree as to whose God is right. <laughs> whose God can beat up your dad and whatever. But uh, this is a serious situation. You know, when it blows, you don't have time to search the internet for my video or uh, some other warning as to what to do and where to go. Uh, you just need to go and be prepared. And unlike Nelson, who's supposed to be the one to do this kind of a warning for you, Amos 3.7 is again having to retract Oaks is going to be furious <laughs> because of me and so uh, yeah he's too busy saving face trying to keep the YouTube channels open to continue to spread misinformation and disinformation to you whereas I'm trying to save your lives and YouTube confirmed today with today's video they have their algorithms programmed to shut me down, my channels. Travis Wayne did so, and TWG confirmed. As uh, the whole title of the church uh, is not generating views. And, uh, so, I, I hope you know what to prepare for. I'm already going to 15 minutes in this, and if it happens tomorrow, you know, if it happens tonight, uh, you know, we all don't have time to be fooling around. If it happens in the night, uh, we may not get the warning, because you'd have to have uh, your cell phones on so that an emergency beep beeping would go off or you'd have to be watching TV late into the night and early morning or uh, me, I'd have to wake up early in the morning like I did today <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it's the warning guys get down to the 70 the 191 and the 70 uh, if you had 
try to cut across earlier, that still keeps you in the blast radius. So try going south on the I-15 as fast as you can first. And then get onto the 6, which turns into the 191, something like that. And then the Green River turnoff. And we'll meet there, we'll breathe, do a, a quick check on everybody's welfare, and uh, then go. Or you can just stay and die. You know, the granny in that show wanted to stay behind, thought that the volcano was a hoax, even after her home gets destroyed by the lava. <laughs> She was so frustrating. Uh, it, I feel bad because I actually wanted her to die. <laughs> Leave her. <laughs> uh, and as a result, they ended up suffering because of the toxicity of the water, you know, creating acid burning. God. No time for claimers of hoaxes. Just go. Alrighty, but yeah, the church has been silent. Released their handbook. So they know something's coming. Or maybe they're just watching my videos and scared. Because, <laughs> like I said, only the prophets of the church are fulfilling scripture of the latter days. Only them and Mormons. So there's something to that. Should catch everybody's attention. So Green River turn off at I-70 and the 191.